How's it going guys? This is Plague Biomass and today I'm gonna show you how to disable the touch screen of your Linux operating system. So before we get into it, I would like to tell you that this technique works for most Linux distros out there with just a little bit of variation here and there. The only distros I know so far to have a different method are Ubuntu and Kali Linux. I'll tell you how to do this on those as well. Alright, so let's get into it. Now there are two ways of doing this. One is a temporary way and the other is a permanent way. I'll tell you how to use both of them. Just to add, I'm using Arch Linux. So first you need to open your terminal and uh, you can do that by clicking on the terminal icon on your desktop or searching for terminal in your application launcher or start menu or whatever you want to call it. So once you have the terminal open, we're going to use a command called xinput. It's a utility to list available input devices, query information about a device and change input device settings. We're going to use it to change the settings for our touch screen. So as you can see, X input lists all the input devices that I have on my system. Now we need to find the name of the device that my touchscreen belongs to. Now my touchscreen belongs to a device that goes by the name of Atmel, Atmel Max Touch Digitizer and it has the ID 10. Now I need to disable this device. So now to disable my touchscreen, the command that I would write now is X input disable 10. What it will do is, it will disable the device that is connected to my system by the ID 10. That will effectively disable my touch screen. Now this is a temporary method. You can try writing a shell script for it but I would not advise it because sometimes what happens is the ID of the X input device changes. Now once that changes, you would probably end up disabling something else. You don't want that. So this happened with me once before and you know, I ended up disabling something else. Also, your touch screen would get enabled after every reboot. So this is something that you would have to do at each reboot. This is more of an optional thing, right? You know, when you're uh, working on a PC and you just want to disable your touch screen for a little while. And yes guys, uh, by the way, if you want to re-enable your X input device, all you have to do is enter X input enable and the device ID. It's going to re-enable the device. All right, coming to a more permanent solution now, we need to edit a configuration file for the exhort server. Now this configuration file holds the activation triggers for the drivers for your X devices. This configuration file is different in different operating systems. Well, for the most part, what I have noticed is that this configuration file has changed for Ubuntu and Kali Linux, but for the rest of them, it's still the same. Type the following command in your terminal, sudo space kate, kate here is my text editor. It's just another alternative program for something like notepad in windows for Linux. You may have something else like gedit. Moving on, sudo space kate space forward slash usr forward slash share forward slash x11 forward slash xorg.conf.d forward slash 10 hyphen evdev.conf. Now this file is a bit different for Ubuntu and Kali Linux. For Ubuntu and Kali Linux, you have to change the file name from this to forward slash usr forward slash share forward slash x11 forward slash xorg.conf.d forward slash 40 hyphen lib input dot conf. This file runs on system startup. So disabling your touch screen from this particular method is a more preferable option. Once you've entered the command, hit enter. After that, the terminal will ask you for your password. Enter the password and hit enter again. Once you hit enter, the file will be opened with the text editor that you have mentioned in the command. Here, my text editor is Kate. Once the file is open, we need to find the section that has touch screen written in it. As I scroll down, you can see that there is a section which says input class 
identifier EVDEV touchscreen catch all. Now going down, we can see that the driver name is EVDEV. Right below that, you would see option ignore on is written. There is a hash symbol before it. That means that this line is a comment. If this line does not exist in your file, you can add it. Now I will remove the hash symbol and uncomment the line. The line option ignore on means that during system startup, the system will ignore your touchscreen driver. And so your touchscreen will not get enabled at all. This is a more permanent solution of actually disabling your touchscreen. It's a much better solution than to use X input every single time you reboot your PC. Once we've edited the file, we'll save the file and close it. And that is all we have to do. Now, when I reboot my machine, my touchscreen will be disabled. And that is how you disable a touchscreen on a Linux operating system. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the like button and click subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.